Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullah, dear brothers and sisters, and welcome to the 26th clip of this month of Ramadan. In this clip, we're going to delve into one of the verses of the Quran that speaks about a dream that the Prophet had. And this dream is narrated or is quoted or referenced in Surah Al Fatih. And we know that this surah is given the title of Al Fatih because it speaks about this great victory that is going to come the way of the Prophet. It's going to come to the Muslimin. And that was, of course, the conquering of the city of Mecca. When you go through these verses of the Qur'an, and of course the Surah talks about all the events have to do with the peace treaty of Hudaybiyyah and the idea that the Muslims wanted to return to Mecca, then the verses of the Qur'an say, لَقَدْ صَدَّقَ اللَّهُ رَسُولَهُ لَقَدْ صَدَّقَ اللَّهُ رَسُولَهُ بِالرُّؤْيَا الرُّؤْيَا بِالْحَقَّ Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has taken the truth and He has placed it in the dream of the Prophet. Yes? And then the Qur'an starts to explain what dream this was that the Prophet had. The dream had this Prophet, the Prophet had this dream that he was entering into the city of Mecca and he was entering into Masjid al-Haram. And the Qur'an says, لَتَدْخُلُنَّ الْمَسْجِدَ الْحَرَامَ إِن شَاءَ اللَّهُ آمِنِينَ You will definitely enter into Masjid al-Haram, آمِنِينَ in a state of immunity, yes, in a state of being protected. So the Qur'an is saying, Ya Rasulullah, this dream that you saw, there is definitely weight to it, there is definitely value to it. And Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is verifying this dream for you. And of course, this was a very big event for the Muslims and changed things fundamentally for the message of Islam altogether. Before the Fath of Mecca and after the Fath of Mecca are two different eras in Islamic history because Mecca carried so much weight and value as it does today as well. The question that remains though is this, when we talk about dreams, we see dreams like this of the Prophet dreaming and seeing things in his dream. The question is, can dreams of my own be a sign for me as well? Is there something that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala wants to communicate to me maybe through my dreams? This of course is a lengthy topic, but generally speaking when you go to Quran and Hadith, the dreams of a lay person are not necessarily seen as signs from God, meaning that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala wants to communicate something and that if I don't interpret my dream, that I'm going to miss out on this message that He's trying to send me. Yes, some dreams that we have, they have weight and value to them. Some dreams that we have, they do not have weight and value to them. But the general approach of the Ahlul Bayt in this regard has been that it's not necessary for someone to, jo to try and go out and look for this, the meaning of his dream and bother himself in this regard or to get worried about dreams. No, the reality is when you have a dream, if it seems to be a good dream, then wonderful. If it's a bad dream that you are worried about, one of the things that you can do that scholars recommend is to give sadaqah. Fundamentally, what Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala wants to communicate to us, He will communicate to us while we are wide awake. This is why we have this Qur'an. This Qur'an has 6,000 verses, 6,000 messages for us, and yet we look for another message while we are asleep. This is not how Ahlul Bayt approach this whole issue. You might say, well, here the Prophet is, he's seeing this dream. Yes, Prophets of God, every dream that they see holds value and holds importance. And sometimes Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala would communicate to them through their dreams. But even for them, the overwhelming majority of their communication did not happen in the format of a dream. Yes, Hadith says only 1 70th of the communication between Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and His Prophet took place through the medium of dreams. The rest of it was just through Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala communicating while they were wide awake. So if that's the case when it comes to the Prophet, you can only imagine how much less our dreams are necessarily signs from God or communications from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. In general, Ahlul Bayt have taught us that when we see a dream, there isn't a necessity to necessarily find out the interpretation of this dream. If you're worried about what you saw in this dream or you're worried about a loved one, then you can always take time to give sadaqah for them or on your own behalf to make sure that this difficulty is removed from them, inshaAllah.